What's up you guys, it's Jeremy Ray back with another video and in today's video, we're gonna be covering everything you need to know about Zendrop and exactly how to use it. Zendrop is something a lot of you guys have probably heard of before, but if you haven't, they're mainly a supplier, but they also offer a lot more other things for the back end of your business. You could basically think of Zendrop as the all-in-one back end for your drop shipping business. And what I mean by back end is basically everything behind the scenes, your shipping, your ability to customize products, your ability to get different variants for products, your ability to get faster shipping, your ability to get better products, your ability to get more quality products, your ability to custom brand your store, add thank you cards. And on top of all that, they even help you find winning products. So at this point, you guys are going to just want to take a second, pause this video, go to the link in the description and sign up for Zendrop. Once you sign up for a free Zendrop trial, as soon as you log in, you're going to see a page that looks like this. This is essentially the home page of Zendrop and everything that you're going to need is inside of this home page. Page. So if we go to dashboard right here, dashboard's kind of where you could see everything about your business, your orders, your sales, your cost, and your profit, which is super cool. On the left bar, we also have fine products, my products, orders, extras, and a print on demand section. So I'm going to start by just going down the left bar completely. So number one, you have dashboard. Number two, you have fine products. This is basically the section that you're going to use to find products. So exactly how it sounds, if you have a product in mind you want to sell, say it's the sunset lamp lamp, you can come over here and you could type in sunset, sunset lamp, I'm having trouble typing sunset lamp. So right there. So we could just scroll through Zendrop, click into some of these and find the best option for us. And then as soon as we like an option or see an option that we want to sell on our store, all we need to do is go ahead and click add to my products. So just click add to my products right here. Or if you're inside of the product, you'll be able to see add to my products in the top right. All you do if you want to add this product to your store from Zendrop is click add to my products. And then you're going to be able to import it yourself, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. Now, one more thing I want to talk about in the fine product section is all of these filters. Now, one more thing I wanna talk about in the fine product section is all these different filters. So you could filter by where the product ships from, including USA, which is really cool. Zendrop does actually have quite the catalog of a bunch of different USA products, meaning they are shipped out from the USA. So super quick shipping. Obviously they're more expensive than a lot of products that aren't shipped in the USA, but you have some stuff like this, for example, that's $14, so a good price and shipped out of the USA. You could also see that shipping time on anything from the USA is usually three to five days. So super, super fast shipping on USA products, which is really cool. However, I know a lot of us aren't going to be selling USA shipping products. We're going to be shipping products from overseas. That's just something cool that I wanted to show you guys. Now, usually I just keep this filter on ships from anywhere. You could also filter by categories if you want, or you could filter by different suppliers if you want Zendroff fulfillment only, or if you want some of these other ones. I like to just leave that. And you could also filter by price range. However, the best thing to do is just pop in here, search your product name and start looking through the listings. Now, as you're going through Zendrop and looking through the listings, if you search a product, but you can't find it, if it's not already on Zendrop's catalog, you're going to see this yellow button right here that says request a product. All you need to do here is click it. And then as soon as you click this, you're going to see this source a new product button pop up. It says request a product from anywhere right in our app. Our team of product sourcing experts will find the product for you at the best price available in the market and add it to Zendrop's product catalog for you to start selling right away. Click the button below to get started. This is a really cool feature because it allows you to take any product online, even if it's not on Zendrop's catalog and send it over to Zendrop. And then Zendrop goes ahead and finds the best supplier with the best shipping and the best quality for you. And then goes ahead and imports that product to their Zendrop fulfillment. So you can now add Add it to your store. I know that might sound complicated to somebody who's just starting out, but it's an amazing feature and it's super simple to do. We'll actually do it right now. So if I click start sourcing, essentially what's going to pop up is a little AI bot and it's going to say, great, send us the link to the product you want to source. So once we're on AliExpress, all we have to do is find the product that we want to sell. Say it's this product right here, for example, these shorts. And all we're going to do is copy this link, then go over to Zendrop and we're just going to send them the link right here and click enter. Now Zendrop's going to go ahead and find that product for us with the best supplier, best shipping, all that good stuff, and then import it to their Zendrop fulfillment.
fulfillment so we could actually go ahead and start selling it ourselves directly through Zendrop. As you can see, it says our product sourcing team will get back to you as soon as they source your product. You can check the status under the tickets tab of the messenger. Usually this happens within a couple hours. Sometimes it could take up to a day or two, but I've never seen it even take longer than a day. Usually it happens in a couple minutes. So this could possibly be imported by the time we finish this video. And the other thing about this is they'll let you know if they have any issues importing it. So if there's any issues with your product like copyright or any sort of stuff like that, that you wanna avoid, Zendrop's gonna look at your product, figure all that out for you and make sure that you get set up with a good reliable product from the start, which is super, super important. So whatever you're trying to sell, like I said, you just go ahead and copy the link to it, send it to Zendrop and then they go ahead and start sourcing it for you. Then as soon as it's done, they send you a link in this chat and you're able to just simply click add to my products on it, just like we did with all the other products that I just showed you. And then as soon as Zendrop sources the product, they send you a link to it on Zendrop and you're able to just click add to my products on that product, just like you would any other thing that was already on their catalog, like we just did with the sunset lamp. Now that's the fine products tab and basically everything you need to know about it. The next thing we're going to move on to is my products. Now inside of my products, you can see all the products that you imported. When we click add to my products, they basically go here after you click add. They don't go straight to your store. After you click add, they go here. This is called your import list. And essentially what you're able to do is review and publish any product that you want from here. So basically if we pick this one right here, we could click review and publish. Now we're going to be able to edit the name of the product. We're going to be able to edit the description, the variants and the images. You could also edit all this inside of Shopify. You don't have to edit it in Zendrop, but it's nice too. So then as soon as it imports to Shopify, it already has all the right stuff. So say we want to just call it the sunset lamp, for example. And then with the description, we can do whatever we want. Zendrop has some pretty good base descriptions. However, I would recommend just taking the description, copying it, throwing it into chat GPT, saying make this better, and then pasting that back inside of here. Next, we have variance. Variance is pricing. So here we're basically able to edit the price of the product. You could see the product cost, you could see the shipping cost. So you can kind of judge whatever you want to price your product off based off what you're getting it for. And also based off your competitors. If you have a competitor selling the same product as you, I recommend you just make the price the same as theirs. Or if you don't, just make it double what it costs you. So for a product like this that cost around $11 in total, I would maybe sell this for $29.99. All right, you guys. So moving on to Zendrob, now that you know everything about adding the product, importing a product, and everything to do if you have any problems with any of it, the next thing I want to talk about is branding. So in this extra section, you could see branding right here. And essentially what this is, is something that allows you to create a personalized thank you card in every single order that you receive. Meaning that Zendrop will literally make a custom thank you card for your brand and put it inside of every single order that your customers make. Meaning every time your customer gets an order, they have a custom thank you card sitting there right in front of their face as soon as they open the box from your brand. Now this does a lot of things. This number one, it makes your brand look super professional because most drop shipping stores aren't gonna have that. That's usually gonna be something that would either cost you a lot of extra money to have done, or you would have to be doing a high volume of orders for a supplier to offer that to you. Now, the next thing it's gonna do is allow you to potentially upsell the customer or bring them back to buy again, because in that thank you card, you can offer a discount code to encourage them to come back and shop with your brand in the future. That being said, I'm gonna show you how to set it all up right now. So number one, you have the classic builder. Right inside of here is the classic Zendrop thank you card builder, where you could just add your logo, add a title, add a message, your company address, your email, and click save, and then you're done. You're gonna be able to start sending out that thank you card. However, they also have a custom builder right here, which is what I recommend you use, and this basically allows you to upload anything custom to be a thank you card. So you can see the actual size right here for the thank you cards, and if you want to, I would say go over to Canva to actually make this yourself. So I'm inside of Canva right now, and this is what I recommend you guys use to actually build a custom thank you card yourself, because it makes it super super simple and easy. This should only take a couple minutes, super clean, simple process. All you're gonna do is go into Canva, search templates, you're gonna search for thank you cards, and there's gonna be a ton of templates that pop up. Now you can click on any one of these templates, and as soon as you click on it, it's gonna pop up, and you're gonna be able to do whatever you want with it right here. However, I recommend you guys just make sure to do one thing. You can pick any template you want, do anything as far as customizing it goes, but just make sure you throw in a discount code. So for example, right here, Thank you so much for your order. Use code XYZ for your next order to receive $20 off. It 
it basically gives them a little gift card or a coupon for their next order instead of just saying thank you it says thank you here's a little free gift for the next time you shop with us now even if the customer has never thought about shopping with your brand again in their life as soon as they read this they're gonna think oh is there anything else that I could buy from this brand? Is there any, should I shop again with them? Oh, is there anything that, you know, it would be nice to save $20 on next time that I could buy from this brand? They're gonna think about something that they might have never thought about before. And that's such a key thing because it makes your brand appear different in their eyes. Now they're thinking about possibly shopping with you again. And they may have, like I said, never thought about that in the past in most situations. Now, this is one of the reasons I love the thank you card and throwing in a discount like this is so easy to do you could literally just type out whatever you want right here then just go ahead and click share and download and you're going to be able to now upload this onto zendrop all i'm going to do is click download i'm going to choose the page i want right here and then i'm just going to click download and then right inside of zendrop i could just go ahead and put this new photo we have it's the same one i already have but i could just go right here the next and last thing you need to do inside of branding to get this working is literally just click this button up here and turn it from off to on and now your orders are all going to have have custom thank you cards inside of them meaning when the customer gets the order they're gonna actually see the thank you card that you custom made on canva inside of their box which is super super cool so now that branding's on the next thing is bundles and boxes bundles and boxes is really cool because this allows you to make product bundles and boxes just like you could probably infer based off the name directly inside of zendrop usually products come from different suppliers right so if you say if you're selling a sunset lamp and then you're selling five other lights you might have five different suppliers for those other lights and then another different supplier for the sunset lamp meaning six different suppliers so if you wanted to sell all those in one order if somebody wanted to bundle all those together they get probably six different boxes because it's coming from six different suppliers now bundles and boxes inside of zendrop allows you to make it all come in one box so say you want to have a bundle deal where you're selling a beard trimmer and then beard oil and then a beard trimmer case and you want that all in a bundle but they're all coming from say different areas with Zendrop, you could go ahead and make that a bundle and then they're going to get all those products and put them in one box and ship them out to your customer, which is super, super sick. So as you can see, when you want to sell more than one product together, you could use our bundling feature. By bundling products, you can increase the perceived value of individual product offerings. Bundles will show up in store as a single product bundle with multiple items. How does it work? Create a bundle, search for the products you want to add. Once it's created, you can just add it to your products and import. So if I wanted to create a bundle, I could just search whatever I want, add those products to it, and then add it to my store just like a regular product. But instead of it being a single product, it's a bundle. So it's multiple products coming inside of one box. Next thing is gonna be request a product. We already went over that, but there's an actual thing on the sidebar for it. So if you can't find the yellow button for whatever reason, you could always just click here to refresh. You could always just click here to request a product. Next thing is trending products. So these trending products are all products that are absolutely killing it right now on social media. And Zendrop just added this section to make it easier for you guys to do exactly that, find winning products. If you're having trouble finding winning products, obviously I have tons of videos that teach you how to do that on this channel, but this is just a section inside of Zendrop that's really cool because they're literally a supplier. So if you're gonna listen to anybody or any software about winning products, you probably wanna listen to somebody who's actually a supplier or something that's actually a supplier because the suppliers can see the volume of products being sold they can see all the products that are going viral and doing well because they're the ones supplying them so they know how much of what is selling and that's why i like this trendy product section on zendrop is because there's actually a lot of banger products inside of here which is really crazy a lot of these product softwares cost a lot of money and to have this for free inside of zendrop is absolutely awesome the next thing is going to be zendrop academy zendrop academy is basically just an entire drop shipping course that you get access to when you have Zendrop. If I go and log in, as you can see right here, let's check this out. We can see literally everything inside of here, all these different videos on everything about drop shipping, tons of different coaches, tons of different teachers in here. Just a super cool section that Zendrop also includes just to go above and beyond. Now, next we have Zendrop AI. Zendrop AI is definitely, definitely a pretty cool one. This essentially is allowing you to create ads. So you're able to create ads using Zendrop AI. I'm not gonna get too deep into this. It is still in beta phase, but I am gonna make an entire separate 
separate video on this shortly at some point so make sure you stay tuned for this one however this is a super cool feature that you could check out yourself as well next thing is going to be print on demand print on demand is something new that zendrop recently added which is super sick it basically allows you to make custom products without ever having to touch them so you're basically able to drop ship customized products so basically in the print on demand section we can take any of these products for example this t-shirt right here we could throw any of our own designs on it we could add files from our computer we could add it different colors we could change the color of the shirt we could go ahead and add text to the shirt we could add different sorts of clip art to the shirt if we want to add a basketball for example we could add a basketball on this shirt we could customize the back the outside label, the inside label, the left sleeve, the right sleeve, literally everything about this product. And then once we click create product, we're gonna now be able to actually add this to our store and start drop shipping it. Then every time we get an order, Zendrop's gonna print the t-shirt with the logo and send it out to the customer without us ever having to touch the product at all. This is a super cool, this is a super cool thing they added because I know a lot of you guys who are interested in dropshipping are also interested or have at least heard of print on demand. And it's definitely a cool business model if you wanna make custom clothes or hop on trends. I like to use print on demand for hopping on trends because a lot of the times when something, a new trend comes out, for example, the Hawk Tua thing, that sort of stuff goes insanely viral and there's not products out at the time it drops that say that. So for example, when the Hawk Tua thing went insanely viral, there wasn't any products or any t-shirts that had that logo on it or were saying that right at the first two three four days it went viral which is when it went the most viral but if you run a print on demand business i could instantly go make a hawk tua shirt and then start selling it now obviously hawk tua is now patented i'm pretty sure and you can't do that and you can't obviously use anything copyrighted or anything like that so that's not that's just an example it's not something i'm telling you to go do obviously just a disclaimer i'm not telling you to go do that that's just an example however just any sort of trend that you see on social media that's not copyrighted or that's not owned by somebody you could go ahead and capitalize on it by using print on demand for example nfts and crypto are going crazy right now so anything you customize related to nft projects or crypto projects will probably do really well you can maybe even partner with a crypto project to make a merch line for their project and the merch line could be all based off print on demand products if we go inside of their catalog we can see there's just tons of different products on here accessories home and living products you guys they've got can coolers calendars acrylic ornaments literally frame posters stainless steel water bottle cork back coaster wall calendar candles all sorts of stuff on here you could customize which is just insanely 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 cool now if i want to actually import the custom shirt that i just made i could put add to import list and just like that i could go over to my products and now see the t-shirt here and i could do the same just like any other product in zendrop edit description edit variants edit the images i want to use and then click publish to my store and that's a basic overview of the print on demand section there's so many products inside of there for you guys to play with so i'm definitely excited for you guys to be able to check that out and shout out to zendrop for adding that because it is a really cool feature that they didn't have in the past now one more thing i want to talk about with zendrop is this little chat bot right here now at any point if you guys are having any trouble at all with zendrop this is probably one of my favorite things to utilize all you have to do is click right here and you could just click messages and start messaging the zendrop team with whatever questions you have they get back to you super quick and it's just an easy way to instantly get your questions answered. If you're wondering it, you might as well ask because you could just literally click this bot, type out message, click ask a question and just ask whatever we want. And then it's going to reply. And if the bot can't help you out, then it's going to instantly pass you off to an actual service rep at Zendrop. So you're talking to a real person and they're going to be able to get you helped out right away. They're super fast with support, you guys. And that's one of the things I love about Zendrop because when it comes to a supplier, they are the backbone of your business. They're the most important thing to have down when drop shipping the most important thing to have in general is a good supplier when you're drop shipping so having something like zendrop where you know you're going to get the support you need whenever you need it as well as all the amazing features we just covered in this video is absolutely crucial to your success in this business